Back in the early days of film, just seeing motion on a screen was enough to entertain. Now more than a century later, standard video just doesn't cut it. We got our 4Ks, 3Ds, drone cams, and now 360 degree video seems to be topping the trends. I really want to make a 360 degree video and try it out, but as you all know, I'm a cheap little mama jumma, so I wanted to see how cheaply I could make one on my own. My goal is to make a 360 degree video that is YouTube compatible. You can see a sample here. On a computer, you can pan all the way around the camera, and on mobile or VR headsets, you can just turn around to change the view. Now, most 360 degree cameras that are YouTube compatible that are on the market have four or more HD cameras that each shoot their own individual videos. And then those videos are stitched together to make one large seamless wraparound video that can be viewed in any 360 degree video player. These rigs are way beyond my budget. So I found an alternative method of capturing 360 video using a spherical mirror. The concept being that you have a single camera that is pointed up at a spherical mirror that's reflecting a 360 degree view. Then you can de-warp and unwrap that image to make a seamless video like the other rigs, albeit a decidedly much smaller resolution. But high quality and cost effectiveness generally don't go hand in hand. All right, let's start tinkering. So browsing online, I was able to find this Cogetto panoramic iPhone accessory for less than $15. Intended for the iPhone to make panoramic videos, it uses proprietary software and video players in order to view them. So my idea is to trim off the extension casing and use this with a Raspberry Pi camera. The reason I'm using a Raspberry Pi is because it's small, runs Linux, and can process and convert the video it captures without the need for an external computer. To get it up and running, just download the Raspbian OS from here, burn it to an SD card, and use it to boot the Pi. Connect it to a Wi-Fi connection and then let it update. So at this point, we need to mount the panoramic lens over the camera. I ended up 3D printing a custom case that supports the lens as well as a tripod attachment. With a couple dabs of hot glue to secure everything, it's ready to capture some video. After getting it settled in a good location, I powered it up using a battery pack and connected it to my laptop using a Wi-Fi hotspot so that I could remote into it. Using this script, I captured 5 seconds of video at 1296 by 972 resolution, saving it as this. Now that I've got my video, I can take the Pi back to my workshop and boot it up to the desktop interface. Now as you can see, we need to find some way to de-warp this video. And to do that, we're going to need to install the SimpleCV computer vision software. Now if you want more information on SimpleCV and its uses, you can watch this video. Otherwise, you can find a list of commands to install it at the project page below. With this software now installed, I'm going to be using a phenomenal Python script made by Catherine Scott to de-warp this video. All I'm going to do is tweak the video size and remove the original overlays from the video output. When you run the script, you'll see a preview of your image. And with your mouse, you want to click the center of the warp then move slightly right, clicking where the usable image begins, and then click where the usable image ends, and then hit the escape key. Don't click anywhere else during this process or the script is going to error out. You should see it de-warping the images and saving them as pictures. And once it's done, you can run this script to convert those images back to video. I wasn't able to find a 360 degree video viewer for the Raspberry Pi. So to continue, we're going to need a PC or a Mac. Here you should be able to use a free program like the GoPro VR player to preview it, but my main goal is to upload it to the YouTube viewer. So after reading through the official YouTube documentation, you need to download this YouTube metadata injection kit and run your video through it so that whenever you upload it, YouTube knows that it's a 360 degree video. Now upload it to YouTube and try it out in your browser. And even play it on your cell phone and use it with a VR headset if you have one. If you want to view my sample videos, you can visit one of these links. Alright, so obviously there's some issues with the project at the moment, but I'm going to try to work on fixing those for part two. For instance, the video quality isn't really the best, and this may be partly due to the fact that the 
Raspberry Pi camera has a fixed focus lens. So I'll see what I can do about that. Another issue is being able to record the video without having to remote into the Raspberry Pi to do so. So adding a push button or something like that might be a good solution. I'll also try to tweak the Python code to make it more streamlined if I can. What would you do with this project? Let me know in the comments below. And also, what ideas would you like me to cover next? Submit or vote for your favorites at tinkernut.com ideas. Click here to watch more videos like this. And if you got any value out of my show and would like to give some value back, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, or donate at tinkernut.com donate. All right, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.